Hey y'all, we're back with James Brown. This song is The Payback, and it's alive in Zaire in 1974. And I believe that this was supposed to be planned in conjunction with the fight with uh, Muhammad Ali and George Foreman. But George Foreman was injured, and uh, the fight got postponed for like six weeks or two months or something like that. But they decided to go ahead and go on with the music festival as well. Um, I think that's interesting. Uh, you know, Muhammad Ali and uh, George Foreman are like <clears throat> legendary boxing heroes, and George Foreman being from Houston, of course, you know, what's up, man? Uh, but anyway, I went over the lyrics, and it looks like this song is basically about, <clears throat> like, literally payback. Uh, James Brown is saying pretty much like, you know, you messed around with my girl, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give you these. <laughs> that's basically what he's saying. Uh, there was a line in there like, um, I don't know karate, but I know crazy. Um <clears throat> But anyway, it looked like it was a fun song. Um, I I know A Man's World from James Brown, and I'm sure I've heard him in movies and stuff. But I I don't really like know his music, but I know who he is. You know, everybody knows like the like the high pitched squeal noises and stuff. I've seen stand up comedians do it, but um, I want to see him live and uh, you know in his prime, just uh, going after it. So uh, let's go, man. Right about here, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to get yourself and your soul together. This man will make your liver quiver. This man will make your bladder splatter. This man will freeze your knees. If you will, let's all welcome the world's godfather of soul, soul brother number one, James Brown. Man, that was uh, <clears throat> that was awesome. Hang on, I gotta see some of that again. I'm able to, to pick up I think most of what he's saying um, I, if I did not I don't know if I'd be able to um, to understand as much because he's like I know that's just how he gets down it's just like pure soul and funk you know but uh, it's awesome and uh, that band is huge is that is that typical for James Brand or James Brown to have like um, like all those people like what were those like saxophone players or like I don't know this is crazy man but it sounds awesome Oh, 
man. Oh man, that was that was pretty short, but uh, that was amazing. His uh, performance, his attire, uh, the stuff he was doing with, with the mic stand and all that, like doing the splits and the the high pitched noise. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah, I um, yeah, I've definitely never seen him live before. That's insane. So I'm wondering, you know, um, uh, I don't know why we saw the the, the Prince video, uh, Little Red Corvette. He's got his his total own thing going, you know. But it, it seems like there could be some influence there, like stage performance wise. I don't know if that's the case, but uh, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, I guarantee we're gonna see some more James Brown soon. Um, I was thinking about uh, James Brown because uh, on the uh, Nasen Dorma uh, from uh, Lucerno. Pavarotti, I think I'm saying it right this time. Um, they did, he did uh, a man's world with uh, James Brown. That's James Brown's song, but they uh, like did it together live. Um, so I need to check that out, especially now. Um, <clears throat> that was incredible, man. That was so entertaining. But uh, yeah, um, I think I'm out for the night, guys. Uh, <clears throat> I'll be back in the next few days, and I don't know. We'll see what we got. I'll see y'all next time.